Welcome to Wednesdays with the YP. This is William Davis, youth pastor at Clay's Mill Baptist Church in Lexington, Kentucky. And this week is a special week as it is Valentine's Day. I'm looking forward to our Valentine's banquet and spending time with my wife. And boy, as love has been in the air, it has just made me think about some things I love about my teenagers. Now, as I begin this, I want to preface by saying there is no perfect person. And there is definitely no perfect teenager. Hey, and all the youth workers listening said, Amen. Teenagers have their fair share of problems and struggles and difficulties in doing right and listening and applying truth, but I love being a youth pastor. I love it. And here are some things I love about my teenagers. First of all, I love their potential. I love knowing that my teenagers are the future of our church. They are the present of our church, and they have so much potential. I mean from the rawest seventh grader that is uh, maybe uh, obnoxious or or gross or doesn't care to the twelfth grader that's polished and and uh, praying about Bible college or or whatever God has for them to do for His will in their life. There is a ton of potential between the seventh grade and twelfth grade, and as a youth pastor, we get to tap into that potential. And I'm excited, and I love the fact that I get to see that 7th grader grow and that 12th grader uh, grow and become a man or a woman of God. Boy, it's a blessing. That potential is one reason why I love my teenagers. Another reason I love my teenagers is because of their hearts. Now, I'll be honest, sometimes their hands and their heads get them in trouble. But their hearts, I believe are what's key to determining whether they really want to serve the Lord. I'm excited and happy that a lot of our teenagers have their hearts set on God. Now, the devil distracts them. He tries to deter them, and he sends things in their life that would pull them away from God. But their heart, I believe, is is a heart that wants to do right. And I love that about our teenagers. They have a great heart. They share that heart in prayer request, in song, in service, and I love the heart of our teenagers. Don't get so discouraged by one or two who don't seem to be with the program. Praise the Lord and love your teenagers for their hearts, their hearts to do right. Third of all, one thing I love about my teenagers is their learning and growing in the youth department. I love teaching a Bible truth and seeing that truth applied to the life of our teenagers. Many times I'll prepare a sermon or a lesson that I'll think is a great one and nothing will be said. And sometimes I'll preach or teach a lesson or a sermon and I'll think in my mind, I did not do a good job transferring that truth. I messed up. I sure hope they got it. I don't know about this one. Maybe it wasn't any good. And sure enough, five years down the road, when that teenager is no longer a teenager but a young adult, they'll reference not the sermon I thought was so great, but the sermon that I didn't think was was good at all. And the truth is they listen and they learn far more than we think or know that they do. I love the fact that teenagers learn from their youth pastor. I get to teach them. I get to lead them. I get to show them. I get to be an example to them. I love that about our teenagers. The fourth thing I love about our teenagers is I love the fact that they are servants of the Lord. I I can ask a teenager to do anything and they will do it. 
on on the the request uh, many times without even any questions uh, about the why or or what for. And boy, I am thankful for the servant's heart in our teenagers. Uh, our teenagers many times will uh, uh, practice basketball and volleyball Monday and Tuesday, and then after school on Wednesday, the same ones, the stars, are back on Wednesday for teen soul winning. Many of them will go to church every single service. They'll go on Saturday and visit their bus. Sunday afternoon, we run our buses. And so they'll they'll give up their Sunday afternoon to be able to go and be with their bus, bus kids and to teach their classes and to ride their buses. They have a servant's heart. I love that about our teenagers. Boy, what a conviction it is when an adult sees a teenager serving I pray, I pray our teenagers would be servants first, servants first. And I am thankful for the heart of our teenagers of being a servant. The next thing that I love about our teenagers is, I'm going to be honest with you, it's the fun. I love being around teenagers. It keeps me young, riding those roller coasters, those late night trips, uh, eating crazy food. And, and boy, it's, it's just fun being around my teenagers. I just love it. I am uh, sitting out here. Our teenagers are preparing to play in a basketball and volleyball game. I'll go in there and me and the guys will cheer on the girls and me and the girls will cheer on the guys. And I love being around our teenagers. It is a blessing and an honor to be their youth pastor. Then uh, the next thing, I love listening to and helping our teenagers. I just love spending time with them. Uh, many times on a van trip, coming back from a meeting, uh, we'll talk and they'll ask questions or they'll get counsel or or they'll they'll ask me about different things. And I love just just listening to the teenagers talk, to share what they got in their walk with God, to share that they've started praying, to share uh, all those different things. I love listening to our teenagers. And then last of all, I love just being a youth pastor. I love it. I love getting to do what I do and to be able to help the future generation of young people. Listen, hey, youth pastor, I know sometimes we get upset or we get bothered about maybe some things that are going on or happening in uh, in our youth group. But let me just tell you this, this week especially, fall back in love, fall back in love with your teenagers, with the youth ministry. I love my teenagers. I hope you do too. Hey, listen, check out yplife.org for more resources and info. And then, hey, until next time, keep reaching the next generation.